So for the last segment that's coffee related this week, we're going to do a cocktail Friday, which to be fair, isn't really a cocktail. You know, sometimes when you come back from a trip or, or just gotten to your destination even, uh, you don't need a drink in the mid-afternoon to, to keep you going. You need some, some caffeine, you need an espresso. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually a shaker auto. Um, it's a great way uh, to enjoy a, a really refreshing, super caffeinated beverage. Um, and it has the added advantage of really pissing off all the coffee guys. So let's see what we can do about that. I'm gonna start off by pulling a shot of espresso in the rocket. I've already got the portafilter loaded. So I'm gonna clamp that on and let's pull a shot. So I've got a triple portafilter in. That means it's taking three times the amount of espresso. Um, and I wanna brew a ristretto, so I want about a full demi toss uh, to be generated from, from all of those coffee grounds. And this is a bottomless portafilter. So you should see the drops start to form and then they should quickly merge to the middle. There we go. And form a stream. Still a little bit broken here, should come together. And we're starting to get the crema. There we go. And this should be just about finished with that blonde crema coming out. So that's the effectively triple strength uh, full demi toss of espresso. So we've pulled a shot. Now there's two ways to proceed. Some would say a right way and a wrong way, definitely a, an easy way and a hard way. Uh, the, gets this name from uh, the, the shaker, shakerado. It's from shaking this espresso with sugar and ice very vigorously. You've got to shake the heck out of this thing in order to get the end result. So a couple teaspoons of sugar go into the shaker cup, just regular table sugar. Throw your espresso in, give it a swirl just to pre-mix the sugar and espresso. And then you want about a three quarters of a cup of ice, not quite a cup of ice. And you're gonna shake this until basically the ice is gone. You just have to shake, shake, shake. It helps if you're using smaller ice cubes, or maybe if your uh, refrigerator or freezer has like the pre-crushed ice setting, that's a good way to start out. You'll hear the ice cubes start to break up. They'll start to uh, sort of disintegrate. And that's probably about what we're gonna get out of it. So, go ahead and pop the top off because it's really hard to string this through the, um, through the lid of the shaker. It's kind of frozen on there. There we go. And the results of this should look like it even has dairy in it. See how frothy and smooth that is? And that is a shakerado. You want to leave the ice in the shaker and just get that foamy tan beverage out. And it's fantastic. It's cold, it's sweet, it's super strong espresso flavor. It really is a, a great afternoon pick me up. So I said there's two ways of doing this uh, right way and a wrong way, easy way, hard way. The other way of doing this is to use a blender. We'll take a look at that. Okay, so this is definitely the easy way for a shaker auto. I've pulled another shot, another, uh, another triple. Ristretto, that goes in. Your sugar goes in, call it a couple teaspoons. And then about the same three quarters of a cup to one cup of ice right on top of the hot coffee and blend. And you'll see how 
the espresso and the ice just transform into this sort of smooth, homogenous, foamy mixture. And the nice thing about using the blender is you don't have to worry about there being any ice chunks in there to uh, try and pour past. Uh, it should all be pretty well broken up. And you see, it looks like it's been blended with milk. It looks like it's uh, got a lot of stuff going on there. It's just espresso, sugar, and ice. And it's really good too. It's actually a slightly different drink. When you handshake it, the foam is thicker and uh, doesn't have as many sort of suspended pieces of ice in it. Uh, this is actually even a little bit lighter than the other one. But remember, that's a triple shot of espresso, that, um, or at least a triple portafilter, and this is my third. So I'm going to start speaking real fast real soon. Anyway, so that is the Shakerado. It's a great post-jet lag pick-me-up. Um, it's a fantastic thing to have 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon when you're trying to think what next to do on your day of vacation. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And you can travel to themovablechef.com to see the recipe, to see some other coffee preparations uh, and other tools that make cooking on the road uh, a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Thanks a lot.